Tenacious Test 1, question 6. Over here we have one of my favorite patterns. This is a combined pattern. We have a linear pattern and a geometric pattern. The linear pattern is the 3, skip 1, 3, skip 1, 3. Okay, get the pattern. And the geometric one is obviously half, skip 1, 4 over 10, skip 1, 16 over 15. Okay, this is a much more interesting pattern because 3, 3, 3, 3, that's very trivial. We can just predict that the next term would be a 3. Okay, every second term would be a 3. In fact, I would go ahead and classify these as the odd terms because this is term 1, term 3, term 5, term 7. These are all the odd terms and they are all 3s. And my even terms, they are all fractions. They form part of the geometric pattern. So, how do we go from a half to 4 over 10? Well, you'd have to multiply the 1 by 4 and you'd have to multiply the 2 by 5. Now let's see if this is consistent. If we multiply 4 over 10 by 2 over 5, well, 4 times, oh my goodness, I mean to say 4 over 5 and I'm writing 2 over 5. My mistake. So, <laughs> 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 10 is 50. Okay, so it does check out. I guess I can then apply the same logic to get this term, multiply the 16 by 4, and multiply the 50 by 5. 16 multiplied by 4 is, uh, I hope I get this right, that is 64, yeah? And then 5 times 50, or 50 times 5, is 250. Okay, now these fractions can obviously be simplified, but the reason why they wrote it like this is so that it's much more easier for you to figure out what the pattern is. So they kind of helped you out there a little. Anyways, the next question was for us to determine the sum of the first 35 terms. Let me just write that down. The sum of the first 35 terms. Okay, so this needs to be split up into two parts. We have an odd pattern and we have an even pattern. There's odd terms and then there's even terms. Now for the odd terms, that's easy. There's just the 3, 3, 3, 3. But how many odd terms are there in 35? And how many even numbers are there in 35? So, if there were 34 terms, we would easily say we'd half the 34 and we'd say 17 are even and 17 are odd. Or 17 are odd and 17 are even. If there were 36, we would half 36 in the same way and say there is 18 odd and there's 18 even. But now there's 35, that's in between 34 and 36. So how many is odd and how many is even? Well, if you count all your odd numbers, there should be 18 odd. There should be 18 odds and there should only be 17 evens. Okay. 18 odd numbers and 17 even numbers. If you add these up, that gives you a total of 35. And it does make logical sense because your first term is odd. So you always will have more odd numbers than even if you are counting from 1 all the way to infinity or to 35, I guess. Um, so our odd terms, if you just want to work out the sum of all of that, they all are threes. So you can just say 3 multiplied by the number of threes that there is. So since there's 18 threes, we say three multiplied by 18, and that gives you 54. Okay, cool, easy peasy. This one, however, not so easy, because here we're dealing with fractions, and they all are different. However, they form a geometric pattern. So we can use a geometric sum formula to add them all up. And how does that formula look now again? Something like this. Sn, A, that's on top, so it's going to be the half. B, 
bracket 1 minus my ratio which is 4 over 5 so I say 4 over 5 in brackets important to the power of the number of terms which is 17 close bracket 1 minus my ratio again that's a 4 okay, okay. if you punch this into your calculator you should get an answer of I'm writing it here, very sorry for that, 2.44. You then will have to add this 2.44 with the 54 that we got for the odd terms, and that gives you the total for this. So therefore, this answer over here, the sum to the 38 terms, is actually equal to 54 plus 2,44, which is equal to 56,44. Okay, I guess there are more decimals here, but I kind of just rounded it off to make it a little bit easier to comprehend. And uh, there you go. That's it.